Wait, really? Isn't that coal? Alright. And just chuck all of that in there. Oh, wait, I need cobble. And I need wood. Eight more? Sure. Uh, what am I doing? That's not eight more, that's a lot more. <laughs> that's 16 more. 16 might be too many for us right now. Sure, eight more. Uh, what the? Oh, I already had sticks. I keep making more and more sticks. Alright, that many. Let's go check on these villagers, see what shenanigans they're up to now. Are they still stuck there? I mean, they're not in here. That's for sure. Please don't tell me they're still stuck up there. Where are they? they so when they use the doors, they'll close the doors behind them. So the fact that the doors are open means that they haven't used the doors. They're still kind of hanging out there. They're hanging out down here now. So what, what's going on? Are there too many doors in the same place? And therefore, they're all... I mean, it seems clear that this is the center of the village, as far as they're concerned. As far as they're concerned, this is the center of the village. Oh, you carry carrots. Right? You guys, go somewhere else. Go some no, come over here. Really? How long does it... Okay, now. Alright, go somewhere else. But, you know, the, the villagers also don't come over here all that often. I mean, these are definitely doors. That's definitely a door. And then these are definitely doors here as well, right? I think. Are they? They should be. Even like these are definitely doors. So... Actually... One, two, th three... No, this is... These are definitely doors. Alright, so I don't know. I don't know what their AI is. I don't know how often they wander around. Let's just keep digging. Not worry too much. I guess ultimately if the villagers just completely fail, I don't really care about the village that much. <laughs> I guess I'll just keep building this place and not even care if the villagers figure out how big the village is supposed to be. I mean it happens. I, I'm, I can't believe Mojang has never fixed this. But even in their naturally generated villages, Often the villagers will end up all congregating around one or two of the houses, and they don't spread out. Like, they don't wander around the village anywhere near as much as you might think they would. 
I, this, it's just the AI is just deficient. I think there's just things that haven't been solved in the villager AI. So like, if you actually build a sprawling city for them, you might just end up with like half a dozen villagers in one corner and they never find the rest of the city. I think that's actually possible in this game. And you know, ironically, the way to really get a lot of villagers is to just spam doors. Like if you try to build proper houses, the villagers might never find all the houses. They might not even find most of the houses. Whereas if you just build a like a an arcade and you just spam doors in the arcade. By arcade, I mean like an uh, like the architectural term. Okay, like a a covered walkway, and then you just spam doors on either side. If you do that, ironically, that might actually cause them to breed a lot very quickly. So like they never travel very far. In fact, they, like there's no, there's not even a single proper house in the whole place. But they just kind of congregate around this mass of doors, and there's your village. Which doesn't make any sense. So, like, ironically, you like exploiting the mechanics works, whereas trying to do it properly, like trying to build a proper village, doesn't work. Which you know, that's like a pretty bad condemnation of the game when you say that. It's like in order to make it work, you have to exploit the mechanics instead of trying to work with the mechanics. So there it is. Trying to decide what materials to use for the walls. I think cobble? I think I want to keep it real simple. And what to use for the floors. I guess I just see how much material I have, like what, how much of each material I have before I decide. The thing is, there's a lot more doors over here, right? Of all the buildings I've built so far, there are the most doors over here in the uh, Department of Public Works. So if the villagers ever find this place, they'll just all congregate here now, because this is where most of the doors are. I, th I mean, if you see what's going on here, 
you can think of a solution to this, which is like when the villagers move around, they shouldn't move around randomly. Like during the day, they should try to spread themselves out evenly throughout the entire village, the entire like throughout the entire diameter of the village. And then at night, they should just go to the nearest house. Because the problem is they're not spreading out. And it's very obvious when you look at this. I just don't know if... Anyone at Mojang even is working on this. Probably not. In some ways, it feels a bit like SimCity 4. SimCity 4, not SimCity 4, SimCity uh, 5, I guess, the one that came after. The rebranding, just SimCity. Like that game, the game was unnecessarily complex. <laughs> like it tried to use actors to calculate everything, right? So everything was like a, a an individual. So you know, like SimCity in the earliest versions of SimCity, let's say education. In order to figure out whether you have enough education in a city, it just took your schools, it took the radius of effect of the schools, and then it applied that effect to all the houses within the radius, and that was your education. Whereas in the new SimCity, what they tried to do was they have actual actors, so they have actual people going to school every day and then going home and if enough people went to school or like however much time the people went to school was however much education you had and so then what happened is that it's not just enough for you to have schools in your cities like if your if your traffic was bad for example so the the the, the actors ended up sitting in traffic all day long and not able to go to school, then your education will still be bad because your people can't get to school. Or if you just, you know, if you're stupid and you build a school, but the road doesn't actually connect the school with the houses, then you, then your people can't get to school. So it was something like that, right? So you think, well, that, that's interesting. So instead of just having a, an approximation, instead of just, you know, drawing circles around your schools and, and universities, these, these act more like real people, it's more like a real city because people actually have to travel to and from school. Except then, I mean, that's good, it's complicated, but it's good. Except then, they did the same thing with electricity, and water, and sewage. And you're like, why on earth would that make any sense? First of all, electricity doesn't even work like that. <laughs> if you have an electricity grid, the electricity does not I mean, it does. It, it does kind of flow from your power plant to the houses. But it's electricity, right? So it moves at the speed of light. <laughs> well, not quite, because it moves moving through wires. But it moves pretty much at the speed of light. And so you're not going to see packets of electricity traveling down the... Crap. Traveling down the wire into the house because it travels so fast. And so in the real world, ele the electricity grid balances itself, or it tries to balance itself, in basically in real time. Like if a lot of people turn on their ovens at the same time, then then it's a it's a drain on the entire grid. Right? It, it's like there's no there's no actors. There's, I mean there is like you know at, at, on a quantum level, on an electron to electron level, there is there are actors. Like each electron is an actor. But like you don't even you can't see that, you can't measure that. Because it's the, the electrons are so small, right? You don't want to do that. Uh, and then there's stuff like water and sewage, and you're thinking, okay, but, but even water, because like the water pipes are continuous. There's water flowing through them continuously, right? It's not like, oh, here's one liter of water flowing down this pipe. It's not like that. Like the entire pipe system is filled with water, and that's the only way the water can can move around using um, hydraulic action. So like even for mechanics that don't makes sense with actors. Maxis still tried... Was it Maxis? EA? Who made... <laughs> was it Maxis who made SimCity? They, they still tried to use these actors 
and they made the game unnecessarily com complex because you know when you when you think about like water all you really need to know is total supply and total demand and whether or not the pipes are connected right you don't need to know it's not like people because people are individuals and everyone acts differently right you know I might go to school but you might go to work right when you so then you know people people act as individuals whereas water is more or less homogenous like one bucket of water is pretty much the same as the next bucket of water you don't like the, the water doesn't make decisions based on where they are right now like that doesn't make any sense so you don't need to simulate water to that level of detail and in fact it's it's not even accurate because the simulation doesn't actually reflect uh, okay I don't know what that is like the simulation doesn't even reflect how water actually behaves it doesn't really reflect how sewage or electricity really behave so they ended up using this system for things where they don't even apply and because this system is so computationally complex because you're dividing your thing into a lot of smaller actors and then have to calculate the, the behavior of each of these actors. Imagine asking the computer to try to calculate the behavior of buckets of water. Like when you, when you say it like that, it doesn't even make any sense. Water is just water. It, it flows through the pipe. Like why do you need to calculate how the water is going to behave in the pipe? It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense for a SimCity game. Like it makes sense for traffic. It does make sense for traffic. And this is why uh, City Skylines is so good, because it's mostly a traffic simulator. So like, if this car needs to get from this factory to the other factory using this highway, and then this other car needs to go from that place to the other place using the same highway, and so then how does the traffic interact? So traffic, for traffic, it makes sense to have actors. And City Skylines does have traffic actors, and it's a very good simulation because of it. But City Skylines doesn't bother to have electricity actors and water actors because that doesn't make any sense. And and so because they spent all this time making these actors for SimCity, or they, they spend so much of their computer's resources on these actors, what you end up with is you can't simulate a massive city. Right, you, so then SimCity became Sim Small Town, and there was a problem. Like, why why did the city not have giant? Like, why did the game not have giant cities? And it's because every time you use one of these, these actors, like every time, so when you make this, when you make a place, when you make a city bigger, these actors become exponentially more complex. Right, so let's say, like a person from this house has to get to work. And to, or has to find a place to work. When your city has a hundred workplaces and a hundred people, you have a hundred people each attempting to go to a hundred different workplaces. That's a, like a hundred times a hundred. So you see how it's a multiplication. If you make it two hundred workplaces and and two hundred people it becomes 200 times 200. So, so, it, like, you know, you, when you make your city twice as big, right, you double the people, and you double the number of jobs, but then the number of possibilities multiplies. It's not additional. So, so you go from 10,000 uh, possibilities for people into workplaces. Like, so so each, each person can go to 100 different places. And so 100 people can go to like 10,000 different places. And you, you double that and you go to 400,000, no, 40,000. So when you, when you double the, when you, when you double the, uh, the number, like when you double the size of the city, you quadruple the possibilities. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Or oh, I hope you can kind of figure out what I'm trying to say.